and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Seek good and not evil so that you may live, and the Lord will be with you. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you. The disciples of John approached Jesus and said, Why do we and the Pharisees fast much? But your disciples do not fast. Jesus answered them, can the wedding guest mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. The Gospel of the Lord. Today, in our Lenten program, we are reminded of the power of fasting. And there's different ways to fast. We can fast from foods, our favorite foods, give up sweets or chocolates or things like that. We can fast on bread and water, go in the opposite direction. We can uh, have one main meal and two smaller meals, as we do on Ash Wednesday, Good Friday, on the Fridays of Lent, and throughout the year, if one wishes, one can fast on abstain from meat. Uh, another way one could do it is a fast on fruits. Have, eat healthy. Have some fruits for breakfast, a salad for lunch, and a regular meal for dinner. Some people do that already, but some people, uh, that's a penance for them. And of course, the most important way we can fast is to fast from sin, fast from gossiping, fast from talking behind someone's back, Fast from lying, cheating, stealing, uh, fast from anger, fast from looking on the internet too much or looking at bad things on the internet too much, uh, fast from all our electronic gadgets and gizmos. Why do we fast? Because fasting, like prayer and almsgiving, impacts the world. It changes things. Fasting can end wars. Prayer can end wars. Giving alms to the poor can end wars. Why? Because all those things change something of the world. What do they change, Father? They change the person, most of all, who is doing it. The more I pray, the more I change. The more I fast, the more I change. And if I change, then somehow the world changes. If I sin, the world changes in a bad way. If I try to do good deeds and try to give praise and glory to God, the world changes in a good way. This Lent, we can change the world. Brothers and sisters, it is our opportunity this very day to change the world for the good. The more people who pray, the more people who fast, the more people who do works of charity will make the world a better place for everyone. <laughs>